Good morning, boys and girls. For today's ELA lesson, I will be sharing with you a writer's workshop lesson. Our objective for today is students will write closings for their persuasive letters. Over the past few weeks, I have shown you how to write a persuasive letter. We worked on writing strong introductions, writing strong reasons, and today we're going to learn how to write a strong conclusion to close our letters. I'm going to read this letter to you again to point out how our writer wrote her persuasive letter. She wrote her date, the greeting, Dear Janie. She has an introduction. I am writing to you because I think that you should try hula hooping. She wrote her reasons and added transition words. First of all, I think that you would like hula hooping because it is tricky. You'll like to practice doing the monkey bars so you get better at it. I think you would like to learn how to keep the hula hoop up for a long time. Also, I think you would like hula hooping because you can do it with friends. You can do it with Sam and me at recess. And she added a conclusion sentence. These are the reasons why I think you should hula hoop. Please come try it. And the closing, your friend, Christine. Since we are learning how to write a strong conclusion, I showed you that example. And I have an example of another letter, but it does not have a conclusion or a closing. I want you to notice how the letter just ends all of a sudden. Listen as I read the letter to you. May 5th, 2020. Dear Juan, hi, how are you? I hope you are doing great. I am writing you this letter because I want you to come to karate classes with me. One reason why I think you should come to class with me is because karate is a lot of fun. You get to yell and kick. Also, karate helps you learn a lot of things, and I know you like to learn stuff. In karate, you learn some words in Japanese, and you practice special moves. You can even earn different colored belts if you practice a lot. This doesn't sound quite right, does it? At the end of our letters, we don't just stop writing all of a sudden. We want to let the reader know that we are finished with our letter. We also want to try to convince the reader to take action, to get out there and try our activity. Then we need to include a closing that tells the reader who the letter is from. Let me show you how I add a concluding sentence and a closing to this letter. So I concluded this letter by adding, I think you will love karate. Please come to class with me next week. So this tells the reader why they should try this activity and to take action in coming to this theoretical karate class with me next week. And I added a closing, your friend, Miss Morales, to let them know who this letter is from. Now it's your turn. You're going to help me come up with a concluding sentence and closing to my letter. Here is my letter so far. Listen as I read it to you. May 6, 2020. 
Dear Miss Schoenfeld, There is nothing better than the smell of fresh bread. This is why I am writing you because I think you should start baking. First, baking is a relaxing thing to do. Another reason is that you get to bake things for your friends and family. Also, there are a lot of recipes to try. One last reason is that you will enjoy eating all of the things you bake. What do you think I should write for my concluding sentence? I wrote this sentence. I think you will love baking. I hope you will try it. Writers, remember when you finish your letter and don't have any more reasons to write, make sure you remind your friend again about what you want them to do. Then include your closing so your friend knows who the letter is from. So my closing says, your friend, Miss Morales. Now my letter is complete. I have my date, greeting, introduction, reasons, and conclusion, closing, and everything is great. My letter is ready to send to Miss Schoenfeld. So remember, strong conclusions should let the reader know that we are finished with our letter. We also want to try to convince the reader to get out there and try our activity. Then we need to include a closing that tells the reader who the letter is from. So now it's your turn. You're going to write a concluding sentence and close your letter. When you're done writing, make sure you have capital letters and punctuation. When you're done working on your letter, please take a picture of it and upload it to your portfolio page on Class Dojo. If you have any questions about our lesson and the activity, please let me know. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.